That's why I can't stay. I'm sorry. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, memory full. What's it? Got this. Uh, hi, Jenny. Uh, I hope you're well. I know you're well. You went to this. I just saw you when you the you went to the shop twenty minutes ago. You were wearing that T-shirt with the koala on it. I was like that T-shirt. And how could you not be happy with a top with a koala on it? See, the annoying thing is, is that last take was perfect. That, I mean, I cried and everything. When this all kicked off, I thought moving in together would be a good idea. I mean, we'd have been living on our own otherwise. Um, after a year going out, you think you know someone, at least have a rough idea of what they're like. Week one, I decided to buy us a fish supper for our tea, my treat. When the cotton chips arrived at the door, you had a complete freak out. Like, Sam, it's fajita Friday. I always have Mexican food on Friday. Well, by that metric. Fish Friday would work too. Sam, that's not the point. You weren't having any of it. It was like you'd gone to all that trouble. Does El De Paso even go off? Yeah. Although I was happy for the extra chips, I can say I, I, I did feel somewhat annoyed. I mean, who in their right mind would complain about a free fish supper? See, that sent my mind reeling and I started to think, well, well, what kind of monster was I living with? And he said, from then on, I could only get things wrong. Ketchup goes in the fridge, not the cupboard. That pan's used for frying eggs, not stir fry. That's what the wok is for. I mean, we all have our quirks, but this, uh... <laughs> next level. I didn't even know you had a wok. Just full of mysteries, Jenny. You're an enigma wrapped in a mystery pan fried in a, a wok. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Times I liked it when you took the lead. Like the sex was great. I can't say I have ever been with someone so dominant in the bedroom, but it, it was refreshing. And the place always smelled nice. Like a lot of things I could say about you, Jenny, but you are definitely a lady who knows how to handle a candle. Whoa, I didn't even mean the rhyme there. I ever tell you about the poetry competition I won in school? It was about the sun and the moon being best mates. And the teacher said, Sam, bring it up, bring it up to the front of class. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yes, before I say this next bit, disclaimer I do not have mummy issues. Me and my mum have a great relationship. Such a strong woman. Oh, no, literally. There's a lad tried to rob her outside Castle Court once and she broke one of his ribs. <laughs> hmm. I suppose I do surround myself with women, uh, people, who know what they want because I have an emotion like. Let's go with the flow easier that way. I've never been an equal participant in a relationship. 
Mates, mum. Partners. I suppose I'm that side portion of mushy peas with your fish supper. A welcome addition, but like, would you really miss it if it wasn't there? I wonder, was my dad like me? Relegated to, to be a portion of onion rings on the platter of life. Anyway, sorry. Back to this. But sorry, Jenny. You know I'd never want to hurt you. And that's why I can't 